Hello friends, have you ever seen modern pig farms? Join us today to visit high tech pig farms to see how it's optimized pig production. If you love the topic of agriculture, livestock and processing, please subscribe to our channel to follow the latest videos. Pig farming is a very popular livestock activity all over the world. According to statistics of the United Nations Occupational and Rural Development Organization FAO, global pork production reached about 118 million tons in 2018. In addition, the number of pigs raised for meat production on globally, it was about 960 million heads in 2018, with China being the world's largest pork producer, followed by the European Union and the United States. Pigs are raised in a hygienic and safe barn environment to ensure a healthy living environment for pigs and reduce the risk of diseases. A healthy growing environment will contribute to increasing the amount of pork production that the farm can supply annually to the market. When souls reach the stage of calving, they will be moved to another breeding area to ensure reproductive safety for souls and piglets. The farrowing area is designed separately with conditions to ensure safety and hygiene for the mother and the piglets during farrowing and rearing. It is very important to keep piglets with souls in the early stages to ensure healthy growth and strengthen the resistance of piglets. In the early stages, piglets need to be provided with breast milk to ensure their digestive and immune system develop well. Being with the mother pig also helps the piglet learn and develop natural behaviors, helping them better adapt to their environment and increasing their survival. In each stage of development, Pigs will be housed in different housing areas to ensure that they are suitable for their growth. After about 6 to 8 weeks, when the piglets have reached enough to eat and grow enough to confidently eat bran and water without depending on breast milk anymore, they are separated from the mother to begin the self-development phase. This farm uses a technological pig feeding system. This equipment is capable of mixing pig bran and water in a precise ratio to provide essential nutrients for the pig herd. This device also allows the farm owner to connect to a computer for remote monitoring. When the brand treatment is finished, they will be transferred to the pig through according to the pre-installed pipes. The amount of brand for pigs to eat daily will be calculated to suit the growth and development of pigs in each age. Cleaning the pig's tea should be done periodically to ensure the safety of the pig's health and protect the surrounding environment. This is an automatic pig house cleaning system. There is no need to spend a lot of labor. This device can perform the cleaning process quickly and hygienically. The water system of this device is designed with a large water jet force that can clean up the dirt around the barn. The method of cleaning, disinfecting, and treating waste in the pig state have the effect of ensuring good living conditions for pigs and for good production efficiency. According to statistics of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations FAO, the world had about 987 million pigs in 2020, in which the countries that provide the most pork production today are China and the EU. USA 
Brazil and Vietnam. In 2020, China produced more than 50 million tons of pork. Accounting for nearly 46% of global production. That's all the info for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you were impressed with the video above, please leave a like and comment and don't forget to follow our channel to regularly update the most interesting agricultural topics. An ostrich farmer is an agricultural professional who raises ostriches as pet animals that are considered and used as a property. An ostrich can produce many items that farmers can sell. Two of these items, feathers and eggs, do not cause physical harm to the animal. Wild heights, on the other hand, are a luxury item that can fetch a high price. The ostrich is a bird native to Africa, but without the ability to fly, considered large, it can weigh up to 150 kilograms, spread over a height of 2.5 meters. Likewise, its rather long legs and neck constructs with its small head, making this bird a particularly striking animal. An adult ostrich can weigh up to 350 pounds and can be nine feet tall, In the most adverse climatic conditions in Africa, the ostrich especially is the largest vegetarian bird in the world, a strong and flexible bird. It does not fly, but walks or runs in the grasslands to the west, north as easily as it does in the hot sands of the tropical desert. There are two species of ostrich alive, the common ostrich and the Somali ostrich. Their ability to run at speeds of 70 km per hour, 43.5 miles per hour, is the fastest bird on land. Ostriches breed and mature at the age of 2 to 3 years. Breeding season is usually August. Eggs can be incubated by breeding pairs, but usually eggs are collected by the former after laying and transferred to hatcheries with cages incubation. The incubation period is 42 days. They usually lay 40 to 60 fruits per breeding season. Eggs are collected daily, inspected, cleaned, and incubated in an artificial incubator. The female will always be left with a few nests of eggs to incubate so as not upset her future breeding cycle. In these artificial incubators, the temperature and humidity are carefully regulated, and the eggs are churned four to eight times per day for the chicks to develop normally. Newly hatched ostriches are very sensitive and need to be handled with great care and expertise. They are raised in facilities very similar to their natural environment and quickly from social groups, often bonding with their caretakers. Ostrich eggs are the largest species in the world. Eggs should be collected after they are produced to avoid breakage. Eggs after being selected picked out and recorded, washed and disinfected before being placed in a tray to dry. The next day, dry eggs are marked and weighed individually. Drop eggs into an incubator with a temperature of 36 to 44 degrees Celsius. Incubate for 39 days. They rotate continuously four to six times a day in the direction of 90 degrees. This pouring will prevent the stages from falling into the shell egg. In the incubation period, on the 42nd day, the eggs will start at noon. They will sleep on their own and come out of the outer shell after 12 hours when they sleep. The young will be dried and brought back to breeding and set bounds in a circle frame. Before the bird does not leave the incubator, the farmer will check it again and use a note with 7% iodine solution to ensure that the birds are not infected with the standard for chick for chickens to go to breeding. If they overlap, then treat for two or three days and check again if they have completely cleared up. Proper feeding of young birds is important for them to be healthy and development. 
Using the OVO is the natural way of providing early nutritional needs and also some passive immunity that helps the chicks to successfully survive against infectious and ambient disease. When raising baby ostriches, keep in mind that they need more space to roam. The farmer should always make sure to give the ostriches plenty of space. You need a minimum of 43,560 square feet, one acre, per adult ostrich. If ostriches are kept in captivity, they will not breed. Overcrowding of birds can cause feathering similar to those seen in chickens. Ostriches need plenty of space to move around and feel comfortable. So let's follow the processing of ostriches when they are fully grown, shall we? The skin of the ostriches will be cleaned and disinfected. This is one of the most expensive letters in the world. It is tough, soft, durable, and can be dyed. Ostrich skin is used in the manufacture of shoes, belts, wallets, postman, clothes, briefcases, etc. A 12-month-old bird produces about 1.5 square meters of skin, priced between 200 US dollars and 300 US dollars per meter. Treated leather costs about 500 US dollars per meter. Currently, Brazil is the largest importer of ostrich feathers in the world. The most beautiful are those of the male, which can be simply pulled or cut. Feathers are replaced every six or seven months and they can be collected again. On average, a bird of slaughter ages produces 1.3 kilogram of feathers. The shorter one used to make dusters sells for $27 per kilogram. The longest and most beautiful are used for decorations, especially those for carnival costumes, and sell for $160 per kilogram. Ostrich eggs weigh from 1.2 to 2 kilograms. The taste is very similar to chicken eggs. In Brazil, they are not yet consumed. At the concern now is to turn them into chicks to increase the squad. The infertile eggs are sold to sculptors who transform them into decorative objects for $30 each. How do you feel about the ostrich farm and ostrich processing plant taking place in this video? Let us know what you think in the comment section of the video. Goodbye and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. This video has brought you useful information and helped you answer your questions. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below. And don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss the latest videos.